What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, your boy JP is going to be talking about a shoe. Now I don't do that many shoe reviews, but I want to start doing more of them because I do pick up a lot of shoes that I do not show you guys. So from now on, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be making a video on every single one of those just because a few people asked me to make these videos. And also, I might gain new subscribers by making videos about shoes that they are interested in. And maybe a shoe that they are wondering what the quality is like and if they want to buy that shoe. Now today's video, I'm doing the Ken Griffey Jr. Air Force One review uh, and Senior, uh, Ken Griffey Senior. Um, they basically, father and son obviously, they played on the same team for two years. Uh, junior played on the Mariners for most of his career and the father played on the Reds for most of his career. So yeah, super dope shoe and uh, I'm really excited to get into this with you guys, show you guys the little details in the shoe, let you know how the quality is and uh, hopefully I can help a few of you guys out. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. Hopefully you guys enjoy, let's do it. All right, Joe, so I got the box right here, uh, typical Air Force box. Um, well, not typical, typical is like the gray. But as you guys can see, it says nine and a half. Uh, I do wear like a size nine and a half, nine in Air Forces just because they run so big. Uh, that's another thing, if you guys are looking to buy these and you don't have a pair of Air Force ones, I suggest going at least a half size lower. Um, but if, if like you fit into a 10, but you can also fit into a nine and a half, you might even want to go down to a nine. So anyways, we got this one shoe out here, and the other shoe out as well. So anyways, it has the baseball hang tag, which you guys can see right here. Um, hopefully you guys can see that, and it will focus on that, because that is a super dope, dope feature of this shoe for sure. And uh, you can see the number 24, which a lot of people actually... Um, thought this was a Kobe shoe when it first came out just because of the number 24 but it's not it's uh, Ken Griffey Jr. was number 24 and Senior was number 30 so I'll keep just going with this shoe just for a minute just the left shoe um, you guys can see like the little details on the shoe are just impeccable uh, the baseball on the back super super dope really really like that um, also on the tongue we have the Nike Air Force One super dope feature and also the junior on the back heel that is uh, really really dope in my opinion I think that looks absolutely fire uh, on the back that has the blue and the yellow uh, I'm not hundred percent sure why the blue and the yellow are on this shoe why 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 I do know that they were the first uh, father and son to ever play on a team together and I don't know if that's ever been done again I know that fathers and sons have played in the league at the same time but I don't know if ever on the same team I know that they were definitely on the same team at one point in their career. I believe it was for a couple years. But anyways, let's switch over to the other shoe here. And uh, the inlets the same. The inlets are the same. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I play baseball and everything, but I'm not 100% sure if these are supposed to depict something. Like, let me know in the comments if this looks like anything to you guys that, like, would be in baseball. Because clearly I just don't see it. So on the back of the shoe, we have the baseball laces again. And we also have the senior on the back of the shoe. Uh, it might be, like, reversed for you guys on the camera, but it says senior. Uh, also the number 30 which was his um, number that he wore the most in his career and then on the bottom the blue and the yellow dot again also the nice little Air Force One um, I forget what these are called but super dope touch as well I love the gold it's really offsetting of the white and the black shoe and a little bit of gold on the shoe uh, like now for quality like this is a really nice quality Air Force One uh, the leather on the shoe is actually pretty nice and uh, I foresee this shoe going for quite a bit of money. I bet you this shoe will reach at least $400 in the next couple of years. Um, right now, I believe they're going for about 180 to like 150 to 180, which is not bad at all because these had a 110 retail. So I think if you guys hold these, these seriously have potential for quite a bit of profit. I have no intentions of selling these, so I'm 100% going to keep these, and I'm definitely not going to be selling these. So. It's a, dope, it's a dope pair to add to my collection, however, I don't know how often I will be wearing them just because I feel like they're more of like an art piece than an actual shoe where you kind of like display these and these are just a super, super dope shoe to display. Uh, oh, I just noticed that the uh, like the trim on the, uh, the tongue is actually different colors. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm saying, but that's super dope. Um, only thing that I, I wish this shoe had was another hang tag because this one says 24. If I had another hang tag on the other side that said his number that would be absolutely fire or just like this side says 24 and this side says 30 something like that to uh, kind of give 
you know, my guy Ken Sr. some, some hype, you know what I'm saying? As this video kind of wraps up here, I just wanted to take a second to say, like, that I do have another shoe that I will be doing a review on. It's actually the newest Yeezy, uh, the Mono Ice. Um, I actually have a couple pretty, like, cool things, and if you guys did buy that shoe and you're wondering for resale, or if you guys just simply like watching videos about shoes, uh, make sure you guys are ready for that video because there is a couple of things that I want to definitely cover with that video, things that are going to be really important for resale and uh, also important to people that are buying. So, yeah. Truthfully, this is a super dope shoe, really good quality on the shoe. Uh, I really like the black swoosh, it's super offsetting of the white. The numbers are super, super nice. The only thing is that people are going to think it's a Kobe shoe, which is I. It's not a bad thing. Uh, but then the baseball on the back, super fire as well. Um, I really can't think of much else to say here. Just that it's a really nice quality Air Force One. And if you guys are looking to buy these and you didn't be able, you didn't get to cop any, uh, like in a store, right now is probably the time to buy. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but these are most likely gonna keep rising in value, especially if these never like get released again. Like if they do numbers, Nike might release these again, which would kind of hurt the value a little bit. But at the same time, this shoe is going to sell out again, and it's still gonna be worth money, even if they do retro it. But, honestly, I would say cop this now, if you guys are looking. Uh, there might be a tiny dip in the price, maybe like 10 to $20, but personally, I don't think it's worth it to wait, just because the chance that it doesn't ever dip, and that it just keeps going up, is pretty high. I think the shoe will definitely reach 300 to 400 in a couple of years. Mark my words, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Like, if you guys are watching this video two years later, and this shoe is like $400, $500, I told you so. I knew that was going to happen. And uh, it's going to be a super dope shoe. If you guys are resellers um, and you got this for retail, I would suggest holding it. Uh, I'm not going to sell this shoe. I'm going to keep this shoe. Probably as like a display piece. I'm going to try to find a cool spot to put this put the shoe because it is super dope. But uh, yeah, I think that's about going to wrap it up. But uh, those of you that always watch my channel and are wondering what's coming next, stick around for the outro. Alrighty guys, so those of you that always watch my channel, I might sound a little like monotone today. Uh, I got a pretty bad cold right now, like my sinuses are really blocked up. So that's the reason that I sound like I'm dying, or like that I'm like 30 years old, older than I am right now. But uh, yeah, uh, my sinuses are really bad and I just keep going <laughs> every time I stop talking and I, that's all cut out so you guys aren't going to have to hear me snuffling, but yeah. Um, I do have a Yeezy review coming soon, which should be here in a couple of days, probably. Um, Threadbeast box, I'm not 100% sure when that will be here, but I also believe I have a Sneaker Flea Mystery box as well that will be here soon. Uh, I'm also going to string together a couple like lace-up videos, like how to lace up certain things. And I also think I'm going to do a new series, like... Um, I don't want to do balling on a budget because that's a YouTuber. I want to do something like... hype with a limit maybe something like that maybe like hype with a limit uh, just go out find some dope fits for less than a hundred dollars like shoes pants and a shirt and uh, try to find like a dope fit I think that would be a super fun series and like if I do like a couple of those videos I think that would give me like some decent views I think that would be a dope thing to do so I think I might try to do that I'll bring out my camera and I'll vlog like in the stores and stuff so let me know if you guys would want to see that because I think that would be a super dope video to make and a uh, dope series to do like to show you guys you guys could go out and get some fire fits for pretty cheap because a lot of the stuff that I wear like this shirt was only like maybe 25 bucks or something like that it's the Hawkins High School like uh, Stranger Things like Nike shirt I don't know if you guys can even see the Nike hair on the back kind of looks like the Travis Scott like the Cactus, the Cactus Jack otherwise the Cactus Jack is just flipped upside down that's the only difference but uh, yeah uh, that's about gonna wrap it up for this video sorry I kind of rambled on here at the end I just wanted to kind of let you guys in on a couple of things but uh yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay hype. Peace.